What's up, you guys? It's your girl again, and I'm back with another makeup look. And my guest for today, my initial guest for today, um, unfortunately was not able to come on. So I'm going to bring back my girl, Chiquita. Kitty, you there? There we go. Hey! Sorry, I just Hi. wanted to go ahead and share this stream really quick. Oh, no worries. Are we there? I, I still don't see you. I hear you, but I can't see you. Okay. Perfect. I think we're there. Yes. We're back again with another All one right. for you guys. We are back. So, uh, Justin, would you queue up our look that we're going for this evening? Let's see here. Our guy is putting up our, Justin is our, our video guy. So he's our yeah. producer. So he's gonna put up <laughs> our picture that we're going for tonight. All right, we're going for this very, I feel like it's not too glam look by mm -hmm. Jelena with the nice pretty goals and the, I think that's like a burgundy color. So we're gonna see how it turns out y'all. Two different techniques, same look, let's go. Let's do it. So again, I made a disclaimer last time that <laughs> I do not use a lot of high end makeup and it's okay. Yeah. Um, Marissa, on the other hand, does. So you get to see. I mean, that's that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at yes. all. That's I'm not a, a bad junkie. thing. I love I love different products and trying out the. Just I guess to see what the hype is all about, you know. Right. Right. So again, like she said, we're gonna do the same look, so you can you know you'll be able to see the different um products. So. I think last time we started with the eyes. This, th I think this week I'm gonna go ahead and start with the face, just That's because so I'm doing the same thing. Because I was like, I'm yeah, doing okay. I'm okay. doing my face first this time. Y'all right. with me because I don't normally do this, but I'm feeling a little risky <laughs> tonight, so I'm gonna do it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm going in with my uh, Born to Glow by NYX. And y'all can literally get this at Ulta. I mean, this is pretty, I think this is drugstore friendly. Hey, Serenity. Hey, girl. Hey, Serenity. Um, I'm going to just use a setting spray. I just use it to prep. And then also, I'm using my handy dandy. I am very oily. Very, very oily. So um, for me, Milk of Magnesia works. Yes. <laughs> it works. It works for me. Everybody's probably like, uh, nah, I'm good. But so you know what? I um I did a makeup class one time, or I took a makeup class rather, and um this lady she was talking about liking um Calamine lotion. They said that's a little less harsh on your oh. skin than milk of magnesium, but you still get the same effect. Now, I've been scared okay. to do that because the milk of magnesium is like um, very, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like it may be a little drying for my face and I don't want to get like too dry. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try that out. It, now, that's one thing I will say. It is very, it is drying. So you definitely want to um, use a moisturizer or some type. That's the reason I went in with the, um, the setting, like the moisturizing spray first. Right. And then, so um, I have no idea what I did with my Morphe. So we're actually going to do the Milani um, Conceal Perfect. Conceal plus, plus Perfect. It's a two-in-one. You can get this at Walmart, Walgreens. Um, if I bought it, it was probably no more, <laughs> no more than about uh, ten bucks. Dude, and huh? I see that. That's smart. <laughs> that's smart. Because I went in Ulta and I'm like, what did I buy? I only got five things, <laughs> and my total was over hundred dollars. It was it was horrible. Oh my! I don't yeah. think I've ever spent that much. Um, 
and one shopping trip. But I'm just, I'm cheap, y'all. I'm just gonna be completely honest. I don't like maybe it. maybe frugal's the better word. Yeah, frugal. <laughs> frugal. Frugal's the better word. Okay, so I've already dampened my beauty blender before we started. Mm -hmm. And at this point, we just tap it into the skin. Yep. So I'm going in with my um, Born This Way by Too Faced foundation. And honestly, I feel like I love this foundation, but I don't always feel like she don't hold me down the whole year. It's like half a year she holds me down, and the other half when I am uh, <laughs> when I am darker or lighter, rather darker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she's not. She don't transition with me, which is fine, I guess. Okay. And I'm going in with my beauty blender as well. I know some people don't. For me, I cover the whole. Um, some people just cover the outer side of the face. I like to go ahead and cover my lids as well. Yeah. To me, it just helps with a better transition. But of course, that is all preference. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I do the same thing. I like to do the whole thing. If I when I rarely do this, like I said, um, <laughs> I never really do this. Let's go on down to the neck. Don't y'all forget that neck now. Can't forget the neck. <laughs> Lord. Hey Amelia, I'm sorry. I saw you uh I saw you speak but I didn't want to interrupt her. Thanks for joining. Um this was uh completely impromptu <laughs> Again, listen. Yeah, definitely, definitely impromptu. This was not planned, but she was available, I was available, and here we are. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Brittany. I will be in your inbox mm -hmm. soon, Brittany. Does she do makeup as well? She does. I'm like, where's that? And she is kind of like she just popped out of nowhere. And I was like, wait, what? Yes. <laughs> what? Okay. So now I'm going to go in with concealer. I typically use um, warm honey, but I'm going to use, what is this? Cool tan. Hey, Tashi. She said she needs these tips. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go back in with my um, Too Faced. This is the Conceal Contour Highlight Retouch. It's like this little multi-use sculptor. And it's, I'm going to use this as my concealer under my eyes. And then I'll jump to something different once we get to the lid. So you make me want to go on a shopping spree right now. Don't do just it. Buy, just buy up the bar. <laughs> no, don't do it because don't. don't do it. If you find if you got it and it works good for you, don't worry about it. Don't be like me, Chiki. To be better than me. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> Somebody got the same coins. There you go. Color corrector before the okay. foundation. So the question was posed, if you use corrector, do you use it before your foundation? Um, me, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I don't, I have, I've actually, um, for my particular skin, I have been, let's see. I think I've worn makeup probably, well, besides church, um, I've worn makeup maybe twice the whole quarantine. And uh, one of them was just to do a photo shoot. But if I have like a bride or something, I definitely um, want to color correct before I apply the foundation. That just helps for more even coverage. And you don't have to apply so much um, foundation to cover if you go ahead and color correct before you do that step. Yeah, definitely. So, I don't 
I never get too much into the color correcting because I tend to use a pretty full foundation. So a mm -hmm. lot of times if you use a full coverage foundation, I mean, it will cover those areas. But I definitely think if you're using something light or a medium coverage, hey, Tasman, I definitely Welcome back. Okay. I, I, I definitely see where um, and me, I have, or had, well, still kind of. Hey, Jalea, it's my guy, baby. Um, I used to have a really, really, really bad habit of picking in my face, and I still catch myself doing it sometimes. Me too. But um, I try to be, be very diligent, and when I catch myself doing it, I definitely back off. Hey, Z. Thank you for joining. For y'all that just came in, if y'all could just do a quick favor and go ahead and share. You want to tag some people? Let's go ahead and do that now. Hi, Quay. If I'm looking to the side, y'all, it's because I have a I have a handheld mirror, but I also have a larger mirror here on, on the side of me. But I need to just to make sure everything's blended well. Yes. Okay. Um, I think everything is pretty. <laughs> hey, Michael. He said, I love you and I want some meatloaf. Okay, bye. All right, baby. I got you. I got you. Okay, Michael had never you okay you better be cooking it up, man. I mean, I do a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it. My big brush. But, um, okay, so my uh, powder, my setting powder that I'm do, using today is the L'Oreal True Match Powder mm -hmm. in Warm 7. It is a compressed powder. I don't know where my big fluffy brush is, and I just now realize I don't have it, but we're going to make it work, and we're going to use what we have because I'm not going back upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> so, so for you guys that are just now tuning in, this is the look that we're going for tonight. This is the Jackie Aina look that she made and she used this ridiculously high product i think something mcgraw if i'm not mistaken it's like a hundred and twenty something dollar palette oh my yes uh because i went i looked it up because you know i like to see all the, <laughs> what all the hype is about i'm not gonna, uh -huh. I'm not gonna find that out. i will not spend 120 dollars on a palette Oh, no, I definitely couldn't. I couldn't do that. No, $30, $30 is my max for a palette because you can get some really good palettes for under, you know, $30 and under. So, right. Mm -mm. Speaking of that, I bought this palette. Um, I shared it last time I was on. This is BH Cosmetics. Yes. And it is the Ultra Matte. It's a 42 color shadow palette. I think I got this from Marshall's. Look at all these colors. That's a really awesome palette. Super, super pigmented. Um, I think I paid maybe $10 for this. And the when I say the colors, this was the color we used last time. Super pigmented. And it's very, um, it's creamy, super creamy. So it goes on really smooth. You don't have a whole lot of fallout either. Okay, Brittany, Ooh, you're going to show out. Okay, Go ahead, daughter. <laughs> All right. And then, so I put that L'Oreal around the basically outside perimeters. I'm going to bake with Fit Me in the shade 25 medium. And this is just a loose um, setting powder. And then I will use the same beauty blender that I use it use to apply my foundation. I'll also use the same thing to bake with. In your new Morphe palette. I'm going in with this black opal, guys. It's literally, I got this one. I before. have not. And I'm just going to contour my face here. Oh, thank you, Steffi. 
I'm telling you, everything that I learned, I learned from YouTube and practice. I haven't taken any type of classes. Trial and error. That's how I've learned. <laughs> Same here. Hey, Tierney. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Those are just coming in. If you could go ahead and share this stream. Tag a friend. Hi, Seal. My sister's on. Welcome, Celia. Go ahead. Share it up. Share it up. I was just thinking about you as soon as we got on here. I was like, oh, shoot. I told Celia we was going to let her know. So I'm glad you <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna let that let that bake for a little bit, and then we'll come back. So I'm gonna go on to the brows, and I am using the F Pod. My sticker is peeled off, and I'm pretty sure this is um, this is the color Espresso. Mm -hmm. If it was, um, I actually I think Deidre was the one that put me onto this. I think before I was using the Nyx, the Nyx Pod. Which I did like. However, I noticed that it did tend to dry out a little bit faster. So, Deidre, shout out to Deidre for putting me onto this NYX. I really, really like it. <laughs> she said, we ain't no good. She said, we ain't no good. We discussed this last time. Sorry, week. We sorry. It Again, don't wrong. get it. <laughs> uh, so, guys, I'm going in with this mineral fusion powder. And I'm just going to bake with this. And this is, like I said, um, last uh, video, just use what works for y'all. This is not no setting powder. This is literally some mineral mineral powder. It's like a, a, a very sheer foundation, but use what works for y'all where it works at, you know? That's it. And, and I like, like a, a pretty dramatic brow so <laughs> i tend to comb my brows straight up and then i start from underneath to do my arch so you just go in with your flat brush I, i'm pretty sure this is elf you can i've seen elf brushes at dollar tree so it's, oh, not, it's not yeah a dollar literally a dollar yeah they're, it's probably the worth most, this. they're literally the most uh inexpensive uh brushes and they were right. really, really good. They definitely can yep. compete with uh, more expensive brushes. And guys, I like to, while I'm setting, um, setting my face here, I like to press in. A lot of times people are like, how you don't have flashback? Every time I do my, um, every time I bake, I get flashback. The key is to press it in. There you go. Press it in. No flashback. Tashi, okay, Tashi said that she loves the elf. The next one will crumple. So, so I was basically having, so it wasn't just me. You're confirming what I was saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, it is a, another, you know, very affordable brand as well. And I did, you know, uh, obviously use it until I was introduced to something that I feel like is better. So <laughs> we love I you too, Deidre. Love you, Deidre. <laughs> So I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the dip pomade for the brows. And I literally, just as Chiquita said, how she brushes up and then goes in, that's the exact same thing that I do. Brush up and then go on that bottom, very bottom portion of the eyebrow and start filling in. For me, um, I typically stop I don't, I don't, well, underneath I go all the way to the beginning of the eye, but when I start to fill in, I come in to about right here, mm -hmm. and then I just use the brush to just pull the, um, I'm sorry, to pull the uh, pot in the rest of the way. Because you want, the key to it, I mean, you want, you know, you want fancy brows, but you don't want them to look like, you know, like you stuck tape up there. Like, right. You want it. You want it to look supernatural. So you just use the brush to pull the 
the rest of it. Pull it the rest of the way. Sorry. I'm I'm a little jumbled on my words right now. I'm sorry, y'all. All right. It's 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 getting late. <laughs> so I do have it is something. Late. I, I do have something I want to talk about because um, obviously our we have two very different skin complexions and um, a lot of times the, something that you can do with your makeup um, because of your skin tone, I can't necessarily do. Okay. So what are some of the things that, well, I guess, okay, I guess I can start off with some of the things that I can't do. Um, I can't do any any shade of lip. Okay. So <laughs> I, I can't and I've tried and I literally have a whole bag full of lip lips that I, I have not used just because I mean you can always put your lip liner on and then the color but not every color looks good with the lip liner. So um that was just kinda... that was gonna be my tip. I was gonna say try to add a liner just to mm -hmm. see if that helps. But um, I hate to say this, I really do, but lighter skin tones can practically do anything, you know? So um, I feel like, you know, your darker tones, you, you can definitely push the limits. You just have to know, um, so you may not be able to do the brightest red, but you can find a shade that works, you know, you can find a red that works for your particular skin tone. And right. again, the eyeliner trick is, I feel like it's one thing that definitely helps. Um, if you can't use the color straight out, definitely add a liner to see if that, you know, helps to kind of blend everything together. Yeah. I have a, um, a really pretty orange, uh, lip. Like a butter gloss by um, NYX, and I love it, and I wanted okay. it, but I, I don't, I can't do nothing with it. I mean, it looks really bad, and I've tried several different kinds of um, liner, you know, lip liners. I've done like a um, kind of tried a, a darker uh, orange than that particular color. Then I tried mm -hmm. the brown, and some of it you just can't get away with. You can. Um, you can get away with a lot depending upon your color and even as far as um, palettes you can get a lot more color payoff than um, somebody like me that's dark skin those little darkies we, we be, I be struggling I be struggling <laughs> I really so, so I actually do have a question because I feel like this is one question that I get all the time is and uh, I still struggle on how to answer this, mm -hmm. but um, the question is, how do you know that you've picked the right shade or how do you know how to pick the right shade? How do I know how? <laughs> yeah, like if you're giving a tip to someone, what what would you say? So if someone come up to you and said, Marissa, I need help. You, I know you can't go with me to the store. Um, how do I know that I've picked the right shade or how do I know how to match the shade? What was your response to that? Be? I would tell them definitely to go to, um, I tell them I would offer to go with them. If I couldn't get with them, then I would definitely tell them to go to, um, um, Ulta has, let's see, what is it? Lancome, their booth. They they always have somebody, even if you go to the local mall or something, somewhere that has a beauty counter. If you go okay. to them, I mean, they are, for the most part, trained on how to match you up. I can't tell anybody how to match them up because I literally, you know, I have to go in there and play with it. And now with the quarantine okay. going on, you can't even do that. I went to Ulta, I wanted to try a uh, different uh, foundation and they were just like sorry ma'am we can't try this on so mm -hmm. yeah so basically right now it will be a trial and error type of thing is that what you're saying absolutely <laughs> I, literally right now. Had, I literally had this conversation with my goddaughter I told her um, Juvia's place was um, having a sale on their foundations and it was like 50% off so mm -hmm. I hopped on there and bought uh, two different foundations because I didn't know which one would match. 
And now they have the little app where you can go on some some of these places and you can match your color, but it's not always 100% accurate. And so right. I tried it and I ended up with the wrong colors that I had to give to somebody else. I okay. To gift them away. So I would definitely seek some um, wisdom on the people in that area um, in the store. Okay. Because I'll be. Because I never, I'm, I'm going to be honest, that's, I struggle with how to answer that because I feel like this that's something that I still struggle with. Um, I feel like it's very rare. And y'all probably gonna laugh. I have I have yet to try Fenty. I know that there are like tons of shades, but mm -hmm. what I was gonna say is very, very, very rare that you're gonna go in and just pick a shade and it's perfection. No, it's very I'm rare. Not. I, so, I mix and match a lot. I literally um, mix and match foundations a lot just to get that that perfect one. If you're looking for like a natural look where you're not trying to right. do a lot of highlighting and contouring, I mean, it's very, very hard to get that skin like um, foundation. That's why I'm so in love with my um, Lancome um, foundation, just because it literally, I literally went in there and I was like, um, I need some foundation and they give you this really tiny little sample and I've been sampling for years, literally for <laughs> years because I've been trying not to break down and spend them $50 for that foundation, but I finally right. bought it. I finally bought it, but. But it's worth samples, it though, right? Samples, yeah, it is. And, I'm, and I've used it enough to know, you know, trust that product. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Um, so also I know, I know we've been talking y'all just kind of <laughs> going on, but again, I'm using the pro conceal still in the color. Um, you just said and, and, no shade for me and fancy, <laughs> um, but I'm using cool tan again, same color that I use underneath my, um, my eyes and everything to contour. I'm just going to use the same to highlight under the brow, the brow. I feel like my teeth are chatting. I think I've had it a little bit cold up in my house. <laughs> okay. Can you put up that one comment? Okay, beware of undertones in your skin. You can do a swatch test with fabric to see how your skin reacts to color. It's a ooh, I can't see the I can't see the rest of it. Oh, it's a it's a hair color trick. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. You better be putting us up on game. Amelia, uh, Amelia, if, we, if there's people on here that don't, um, that do not know her, Amelia is our praise and worship leader, but she's also the most amazing artist that you will ever meet. She's amazing. Okay. She uh, paints like she just, she's amazing. So she knows all about the undertones and and all that jazz, the shading and all. So. That was a great, great, great tip, Amelia. Thank you, thank you. Great tip. But yeah, I haven't found a foundation that I don't have to mix other than that, like I said. Um, yeah. Me either. <laughs> me either. I feel like it's taking me a little bit of time on my brows tonight. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it's all right. If you guys are just tuning in, if you can um, like, comment, and uh, share. All right. So let's go ahead and blend this out. And guys, I literally just conceal above and underneath my eyebrows. Um, above my eyebrows, I use the Pro Concealer and the color Beautiful Bronze. And underneath, I use Fawn. And I like to, I like to make it a little bit lighter underneath my eyebrows and put the darker closer to my skin complexion on top, just so I don't have that. Just so I don't have it be too light on the top. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what shade that I have. It's going to be the closest to our picture. 
All right, I'm going back to our BH Cosmetics. I think I'm gonna try this burgundy color here. That's pretty. Let's see, let's see. Actually, first, I think I'm gonna go in, we're just gonna do a light something in the crease just to help with the, the transitioning of it. So it's not just like, bam, check me out. You know? Hey, Melissa. Oh, oh. Sorry, y'all. No worries. <laughs> All right, so I think I am ready. Does this happen to y'all? Do y'all get makeup in your hair when you're doing your makeup? It happens to me. It happens. It happens. I don't know. It happens. So, guys, I am going to go in and I'm going to mix and match. I'm going to go in with a few different palettes. Um, Chiquita. I think Chiquita is about to come back to me. Something happened there. But anyways, I, I think I'm going to go in my crease with this brown here. This is the uh, Zulu palette by Julius. So I'm going to go in with this one, just in my crease. There she is. She's back. Sorry, y'all. Hey, Melissa, as I was saying. <laughs> I think I got a little bit too excited. Okay, so do you use... Um, do you use like a primer for your eyelids? Um, because I just went in with that one. Pro conceal. <laughs> I use it for everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If I want, um, if I want a color to stand out more, I'll just use a brighter shade. Yeah. Okay. Cool. A super a super light shade. But pro conceal is <sighs> my girl. Like she never is. <laughs> she is. And I literally almost Never. bought the, I think it's by Urban Decay, the all, the primer potion, I think it is. I literally almost <laughs> bought that. And I was like, nah, we'll stick with this. Okay. <laughs> hey, Polly. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Let's see, let's see. I think I'm going to go in a little darker and we're going to deepen the crease a little more. Y'all know my favorite, one of my favorite colors to uh, add dimension is yellow. So I'm really going to try to stay away from that because that's not part of the look. But if y'all see me sneak some yellow in there, okay, y'all don't just don't say nothing. All right. Struggle with picking um, the right transition and blending. What are some good tips when it comes to blending? Um, I'll let you. I'll let you answer that. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. I was just gonna say blending is all about your brush. Like, um, you want a fluffy brush to help build the colors. Um, for me, I tend to do. We talked about this last week as well. I mm -hmm. tend to do windshield wiper motion. Some people kind of stipple. It's all a matter of preference. For me, for the um, like the eyelid, if I want a super, super um, heavy payoff, I'll actually use my finger to swatch the color. And then um, I'll go in and windshield wiper first and then pat it actually onto the eyelid. Y'all see me doing the, um, y'all see me doing what she said? <laughs> That's it. You stipple it in, and then you then you can windshield wiper it. Yeah, it's, it's really easy, y'all. And I mean, my okay. So, um, what's one? What's one of y'all favorite blending brushes? Y'all can leave it down in the comments. What's a, what's your favorite blending brush? Just so don't laugh at me. You know I like my yellow. <laughs> um, I've been using. I think it's real technique. Okay. Um. I shop at Marshalls and get mm -hmm. a lot of products because they have a lot of high-end stuff that is half the price that you're going to pay when you go to your Sephora and your Ulta. So, yes, and they do have good brushes. It's not, not something that you're going to go to the shelf and get when it first comes out. 
You're probably going to have to wait a little bit, but I'm okay with that. You know, mm -hmm. I can pay half the price. I'm completely fine with that. <laughs> Come on, demonstration. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I so am I. Oh, no, I <laughs> All my friends know it about me. They already know. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> a lot of Real Techniques. Real Techniques is a really good brand. I actually have some of their um, palette, or not palettes, but um, brushes that I like. I like swear by. And then I also have some e.l.f. brushes that I don't care what I get. I'm not going to let go. Like, um, for instance... Right. Um, this elf brush, I literally have been rocking this. I got like a couple of them. I can't let it go. It's the um, flawless concealer brush, uh -huh. and y'all see me going like right underneath my um, brow bone just to blend out that concealer. I love this, I will not go anywhere without it. So it doesn't matter. Um, like I'm using my Sigma, you know, what is this E35 blending brush. Okay, I love her. She's expensive, but I'm not going to replace my right. only goodie. It don't matter. So I like to, I, I like a lot of, I like the high end and I like to mix the high end with the low end. It's just whatever that works for y'all. You know, whatever you like the most. I have hooded lids and doing eyeshadows are a huge challenge for me. Okay, I I struggle with that too because, I mean, you may not, it looks like it's a lot of space there. But like when I close my eyes, you see it like goes away and it, so I'm hooded too. What I like to do is if you're doing something very detailed, I tend to um, go higher with my lid. Like I'll bring my lid up higher so that you can still see it. And it kind of creates this illusion that your eye is bigger. Now, Chiquita got the perfect eyes. I be struggling. <laughs> she got the perfect eye. She got enough space. I do have, and I actually, I probably shouldn't be biased, but I do prefer clients who have bigger eyes because I love, I love, I love the crease. Like you can add, for me, I might add six different browns just in the crease because yeah. it gives it that, like, I don't know, it just gives it a dimension. Like it's, it's, it's bomb. Yeah. But That's I don't know how to you know, my hooded babies, either, you know, we'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> Heck yeah. Jessica says she got six um, of those Elf Flawless Concealer Brushes. I don't blame you. I got quite a few, too. All right, guys. So I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is one of my favorites. Um, this is her newer. This is the volume two. I think I'm going to go in with uh, this color here, which is... I kind of want to, I think I'm going to dibble between these two colors. Um, and it's uh, empowered in, oh, hello. Shasha said she got five. Listen, <laughs> hey, that brush is a business. <laughs> she said about to get the color in. Okay, right? Yes, and this is the look that we're going for. I'm not the uh, makeup guru, but I can give you whatever tips I have. <laughs> right. And this is the okay. look, in case you guys are just tuning in, this is the look that we're going for. Let's see if it's going to work. We're going to see. Shakita, I love see. what you got going on already. Yes. I like it, girl. Stop it. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the gold one? It's probably no more than six dollars. And the shade is called Amaze. A M A Z E. I love it. Love it, love it. Is it gold? It is gold. It's so pretty. Dude, you're going fast. Slow down. You know, I think well. This is actually the um no, it is a high it is an eyeshadow. I was thinking it was a highlighter. Maybe I just used it as a highlighter. I think that's you said I'm going fast? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keto. Hold on, let me talk earlier when I was saying I if you want the best color payoff, I just go in and just use my finger. I don't use a brush for this part. So let me just take it. And Thank you, Shasha. Shy. Awesome. We got old um, director Justin over here on the ones and twos directing this video. Justin is killing. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. Okay. Let's see. I know I have big eyes, but to add a little bit more, uh, you know, sass a little bit, I guess you could say. I'm going to pull it up a little bit past the crease. La la. I like you, like you. Let me hurry up because I will blend all night, y'all. Fingers like shot, uh, with like uh, chiquita. Let's see what we can get. What I can get. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I love her. Let me tell y'all. Now this, I feel like this palette right here can work for any shade. And mm -hmm. you can see, I, I can pan on a few of them. But this is one, this is like my palette I use for everyday makeup. But I am actually loving this BH Cosmetics um, palette. It looks really good. But y'all, let me, let me tell y'all what happened to me. I decided, I thought I decided I was gonna be grown at being in this quarantine and decided I wanted to um go and um buy a couple of palettes off uh offline. And I was strolling and you know how your phone will like detect your keystroke, what you are um what you are looking for so you look up drapes and then you know drapes pop up on everything uh -huh. so i'm looking for hey trella i'm looking for um some hey, palettes from who was i looking for was it morphe i think it was morphe so uh -huh. morphe palettes came up child and it was like 50 percent off i said oh you know you're gonna <laughs> get bought y'all when I got to check out more, it didn't say Morphe no more. It said some Asian. By the time I had to no PayPal paid for it and everything, y'all was some Chinese duplicates. I got to show y'all the, I got to show y'all the palace. When I tell you, I bought four of them things too. I thought I was doing a thing. The color payoff is terrible. Oh God. I, I'm so sad about it. I was so devastated. I definitely would have been too. That's crazy. All right, yeah. I am going to go ahead and do my liquid liner. I think that I bought this at a hair store, but it's really good. Don't judge me. Um, I do not like when I use liquid liners. I like liners that are matte. I absolutely hate. 
shiny black eyeliner. That's just me. And I'm sorry if you guys like it. I'm just saying for me personally, I am a matte girl. I like a matte face. I like a matte eye. I prefer a matte lip. I'm just a matte girl. Yeah. That works. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I know a lot of people say that they have a problem with the wing. Um, I've been doing makeup for a while and I still struggle with the wing sometimes. <laughs> Some days I can have a cute little dainty, you know, something. Other days, you know, not so much. We're like bat wings. It just depends on the day. Hopefully today will be uh, a dainty one. We'll see. Or at least the in-between. <laughs> see, I got, I see they must have, they, they got me. They catfished me. It was a whole catfish. She said she got it. No, it was a whole catfish for me. I, I missed it. I'm glad you got your blessing. I, I didn't. Aww. See, I'm going to have to start going and checking out these sites. And I, I get emails. I do. I, I do. I just, I guess I just swipe them off the screen. I don't, I don't mm. know. <laughs> Wait, okay. So you just, on the other hand, though, that's my thing. I look close. Jessica, um, um, Jessica asked a question. Can you get this one, Kia? Let me catch up. Okay. So I'm late. Um, can I ask about the brows? Eyebrows are. Should I leave them be every time I try to add more? So they're perfect. So basically, the eyebrows necessary for everyone. Okay. Um, eyebrows are necessary. Okay. For me, I do not like when I see a woman have a full face of makeup on and no eyebrows. Like that's just weird. It's like <laughs> it's like getting dressed up. To go to church and you don't have on no jewelry. It's like, where are your earrings? Where's your bracelet? Like, where's your socks? But what you know, if you wear socks, like to me, you have to have, <laughs> you have to have your eyebrows. Yes, they're necessary for me. They are. All right, Marissa, you might have another. You know, I absolutely feel the same way. I'm like, what's the use? <laughs> yeah, it's like if you're gonna do all this full face of. Of makeup, you can't not do the brows. Yeah, no. Even if you don't go for what they call the full Instagram brow, that's okay. But at least you know, add a little bit of something and then conceal underneath to make it look as if you know, as if you've tried at least. <laughs> right. That's it. That's exactly right. <laughs> So you got to complete the look. And I kind of feel the same way. Like, um, to me, like eyelashes. To me, eyelashes complete the look. But you don't have to be, you don't necessarily have to have eyelashes. But if you don't, I need you to put on layers and layers of mascara. Like, but that's just me. I typically like a super full glam look. Everybody doesn't like that. They don't want to get up and put makeup on, you know, every day. And that's okay. It's completely okay, but I'm I'm just speaking for myself, y'all. <laughs> I feel like brows are more of a necessity than anything else. Yeah, I but agree. I think, but I do think it is weird to have on just brows and nothing else. Yeah, if you if you're gonna do that, you have to have like a BB cream, like something maybe lightweight, like at least look like you tried. Like don't just draw on eyebrows, conceal underneath and just nothing else. <laughs> Unless you have bomb skin. I can't do that, but I mean, you might be able to. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I nice have cherry on top. Absolutely. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Let me hurry up with a swing, y'all. I ain't even trying to wing today. Bump it. <laughs> My lashes is going to cover it, so I'm going to fake it. There you go. Who's your makeup inspiration? Um, I 
Oh, I'm gonna tell you somebody I really like is Nikki Tutorials. You guys follow her on YouTube? Oh, no, not YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. I don't Absolutely. Know. Love, love, love her. And I think I love her, well, not only because she can do a bomb face, but because mm -hmm. she is a full coverage kind of girl. Yeah. And so am I. <laughs> I don't even try. I don't buy CC cream. I don't buy any of that. I need a full face of, uh, foundation that completely covers everything. <laughs> All right. What's this mascara that I have? I think this is Physicians, Physicians Formula. Yeah. Physicians Formula. Again, I got it from Marshalls. <laughs> Why are some people's brows shiny? Um, I believe Ooh. shiny shiny brows are definitely from uh, oily skin. Um, mm -hmm. I think that they put on either an eyebrow pencil or some type of eyebrow that has an oil base in it mixed with their oily skin. And I believe that's why you get shiny brows. Um it's because it's just literally just the oil in their skin. Um, I think a way to prevent shiny brows is to um, set your brows. So after you do the whole eyebrow thing, um, you, you can either dry it on with a pencil, whatever you use, just go back in with a brown, um, a brown eyeshadow. You can literally just take a small, small little brush and go back in with a brown eyeshadow and just pat it in there so that it won't be you know oily right um i'm laughing at d <laughs> i'm laughing at dj and uh amelia but um i think a tip for that when you're applying your foundation it is completely okay to bake your eyebrows mm -hmm. like put put your sentence i mean your um your setting your loose powder on there and just let it sit. That'll help to absorb the oil. That way, when you get ready to apply apply your um, your brow, then it'll be there. Like it won't it won't see through basically. All right, so my lashes are from the dollar store. <laughs> I love the way you say it slow every time. From the dollar store. I don't spend. I don't. I already said it. I already made my disclaimer at the beginning of the video. I do not spend a lot of money on foundation, any of that. My lashes are a dollar. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. And you see that? I might I might be a little dramatic and add two two pair tonight. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see. This is Kiss um, Strip Lash Adhesive. Comes from the dollar store, two dollars, and it's really good. Super, super tacky. I should have actually applied this before I started my liner. But... Yeah. All right. So y'all, last time we were on, I told you guys about my little hack that I did. So uh, let's back up really quick. I went in with my Benefits um, liquid, black liquid eyeliner and I literally just put that on. Um, then I went in with my Duo Lash Glue and this is the clear one. And I like the clear one with the brush because I literally just put it right on top of that eyeliner. And then I go in with my lashes and just plop them on. And these lashes are from my lot, from my lash line, Jabella's, and this is the um, lash name called Shorty Girl. Nice. Sha said that she um, cannot get her lashes close to her lid. For me, the technique to that is to use um, tweezers. Yeah, that helps with the application. Um, using your finger, and some people do, like some people use their fingers, and that's fine if that works for you. But for those who are just starting out, 
Um, I just think you would start in the very center, apply to the very center, and then either you can do the front or the end. It just depends on your that's your preference. Yeah, I like to, I, I definitely start in the center, just getting it in and then attaching the two sides um, has been the best way to work for me. Also, mm -hmm. putting that lash glue on that eyeliner line. Now, you probably won't like it because you said you don't like the shiny um, eyeliner, and it does make the mm -hmm. eyeliner shiny because the glue's on it. Okay. Um, but that's like a really great hack is to just put it on there and then just pull out the lashes on them. Nice. Okay. Well, while I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my, sorry, I almost dropped it, my Kat Von D um, liquid lipsticks. One, oh, I can't remember what color this is. So you splurge on anyway, it. It's the brown. And it kind of has an orangey undertone. It's the same one I used last week. It's my absolute favorite. I'm like scraping the side of the barrel to get the last little drop out. And I think this is the second, third tube I've gone through of this. Um, and then the lighter shade that I use is called Noble. Also Kat Von D. These, no, this one, yeah, they did come from Ulta. I think around Christmas time, I was able to find the miniatures for these. And I think I paid 20 or $25 for them, but I got probably, um, it was almost like a tester. So that was the reason that I really, um, I was glad that I found them. But I think I got maybe six or seven. Um, they were probably half the size, but it gave me a chance to just try them out to see if I at least liked them. Oh, they look really good. Have very I good. love them. So y'all, I'm doing my little ghetto thing again where I go in with my um, brow dip pomade and I line my lips because I never have no pencil sharpener for my lip liner. <laughs> Whatever works. It works. Do you guys have a favorite uh, lip combination that you, that you guys are using? Yeah, that's good. I know Deidre was big on ColourPop. And I have to be honest, like, I have not tried a lot of their um, their stuff. I do like ColourPop. They are and really ColourPop is very affordable, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm really big on this uh, mix, uh, lingerie and the sip teas. I like those a lot. Nice. And they're affordable too. Um, and I think Walmart has them on sale now for like three dollars three dollars and fifty cents. So you can't beat them. Okay. All right. So I've already outlined with the brown and at this point we just kind of go in with the nude one. I tend to go pretty heavy with this one. Still uh I feel like I bought some steel and I don't think I was like crazy about it. I'm my lips are happy with it. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Maybe I'm gonna have to, I would probably have to revisit that one, Tasha. Am I saying your name right? I, I hope I'm not missing it up. <laughs> Is it Tashi? Is that right? You can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm All right, so with the Beauty Mark by NYX Lingerie, that's the lip I'm going in with. Okay. Oh. Nicki Minaj's matte lipstick. I don't think I've tried those. I definitely haven't. You y'all know what's? I actually bought these from the um from the dollar store. I LA Color matte. These are so good, like they so really good. Um, I bought the burgundy one. I love a good burgundy lip. Love. Mm -hmm. And I think these are how much were they? Maybe three dollars. Yeah, then no more than four. But, yeah, the colors are super, like super pigmented, and they practically last. Like even if you gotta re uh, reapply them, three dollars. Like can't go wrong with that. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes before they are no longer tacky. So I'll just start in the center. And then I'll go out. Why? Why? She said tart me. It looked like she, she ate bottled donuts. <laughs> she ate what? Parmesan? Powdered donuts. <laughs> oh my goodness, Shaw. <laughs> That girl crazy. <laughs> I have those from the dollar sign of this, but yes, they are. Do um Chiquita does a uh, matte lip glosses tend to dry your lips out? Or can you keep them? What are your hacks to keep your lips moisturized when you're wearing matte lip? I like um just Carmex, and I have it right here, or had it right here. Carmex, um, and I know they make Carmex in the pods, but I prefer the Carmex, the roll-on. To me, they stay a lot better. So mm -hmm. I typically just put this on when I first start my foundation. That way my lips are moisturized um, before I even go in with it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, it it just depends on the formula of the, the product that you have. Some of them tend to be super dry, so you will have to add a little bit of um, maybe like a gloss or some type of moisturizer, you know, as the day goes on. Mm -hmm. yeah. For me, I don't want another matte, you know, matte lip um, at all, so. It doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. All right, guys, I'm going in to finish sculpting with this, um, what is this? Black Radiance uh, Contour Palette. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back with my liquid liner and just kind of, cause I, I've worn these lashes, lashes before, excuse me. <clears throat> Um, and I'm just going to go back over the top of the um, lash line just to make sure that there's nothing like eyeshadow or anything that's like peeking through. I want my line to be super, super matte. Mm -hmm. Oh, one thing. I, I know I see people do this all the time. I love, love, love watching people do their foundation. When you're putting on your mascara, do not pump it. Like, oh yeah. This, when people, people do like this and they start pumping it in and out, do, don't yeah. do that. All it's doing is compressing air into the the tube, and it's drying it out. You mm -hmm. you you have the issue with that, and that's one thing that you're doing. That's probably one of the reasons why. So do not pump air into any of your liquid, anything that you have. Yeah, that's really good. That's so good. I used to do that all the time. Yeah, all I did too. All the time. <laughs> Shot is coming on soon, guys. So y'all definitely make sure y'all check out our episode. It's going to be hilarious. It's going to be lit. Be lit. <laughs> so I'm going to go back with this, um, the same color pot, pod, and I'm just going to add a little bit here to my tear duct. That's good. And I'm still in this palette here. It literally has like a highlight. Um, it has like a sculpt and then it has a contour. This is the contour actually. Sorry. <laughs> so and I'm still in there and I'm just highlighting those cheekbones. And just like Shaw says, or Lord Jesus, I'm talking about Shaw. Just like Chiquita <laughs> said, I'm going in. I'm still thinking about her and that powder donut. <laughs> I'm going in here. And I'm just gonna put it in the center to the <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna um contour 
again, I use shadow. I'm not like Marissa. Marissa uses um use foundation, right? Uh, for the contour. For like the lip to contour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I See? use like a stick. Yeah. And me, I'm lazy, so I wait to the end and I do powder. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I'm going to go in with this really dark brown, almost, almost has a chocolatey, chocolatey, like burgundy undertone to it. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, I just got, um, like, <laughs> glue all over my brush here. All right. So let's go in with that. I might want to get my smaller one here. Oh, it's so small. I'm not breaking more juice. So I go all the way up to the hairline. Mm -hmm. I even connect the two. And blend for your life, honey. All the way around the hairline. All right, guys. So far, are you guys enjoying this live? If you are, go ahead and make sure you thumbs up like this. And share it with your friends. Y'all don't judge my edges up here. Don't do it. <laughs> Tasha said, y'all gonna put on some rouge? I was telling her, I don't typically, but last week I did. She inspired me, but I was telling her, like, um, if I wear blush, it's because I'm feeling super, like, dainty. Mm -hmm. That is not something I wear all the time, but sometimes I do. When I'm feeling girly, I will, um, I will apply some of that. So I'm gonna go back with my beauty blender, um, just to mm -hmm. make sure everything will mesh together here. I think I'm gonna add. Let me add a little bit of highlight. I wasn't going to, but I am. Come on. We're going to do a little bit of Rudolph action, but you don't want to do the most. Just, just do a little bit. Again, I'm using this. <laughs> I'm using the same <laughs> one, y'all. <laughs> when I'm in this law. It is what it is. <laughs> I have uh, some stuff that I got for Christmas. I still ain't took out a pack. It's like high end stuff, too. Okay. I'm not gonna go get it, but I just I just go for what I know. I guess so it's not like <laughs> okay. Well, don't get me okay. She asked about Rouge, and I don't know. I didn't leave any out. Let me see if I can find some real quick. Hold on. Hold on. I like my forehead a little bit to add a little sparkle around the dazzle. Y'all remember those? Um, Y'all remember them palettes I was telling y'all about that I got? Here they go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Y'all might have to see because my, my light is up. Oh, the colors are pretty. Mm -mm. They're not it. <laughs> mm -mm. I, I probably am going to try out the, the glitter colors, but the matte colors, it look no. like crayon dust. <laughs> Chalk dust. Oh, no. I'm so hot right <laughs> now. I've ordered I order four of them. Oh, no. James Charles, Lord. I said, I said, now these packages, they got it. They got it now. Yeah, they I did. They, said they make the packages for them anyways. Now, on, on this thing, they look legit. Yeah. 
But I promise they look like chalk. I hate that. Yeah. That should be a win. Yeah. And you know what? I ain't know they was fake until until I was comparing them online. Uh huh. I was oh lord, this is the last one. I was comparing the names online, and I noticed some of the names was misspelled. How y'all gonna misspell the names? How y'all oh, gonna? God. They gonna how y'all gonna misspell the names? I'm fed up. Okay. Y'all mm -hmm. learn from my mistakes. Don't go through what I've been through. <laughs> All right, so I am, I think I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and go back with what I first started with. This is Up All Night um, by Coop and Daisy. Came from Marshalls. <laughs> but I love it, though, for real. It is, um, it helps just to kind of meld everything together. And your makeup doesn't move, basically. So I tend to go heavy handed with this. Y'all, why can't I find my, my blush? Don't let this be it. And I'm going in with the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter. Has anybody tried the Morphe um, setting spray, the one that with the continuous mist? Now that is one thing that I said I wanted to try. So you said, May, where did you get your large new palette? Um, it came from Marshalls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marshalls is my store. I love it, love it, love it. This is the um the Morphe 3502. And I, like I can't remember how this palette is probably about 50 bucks, but I think I bought it for maybe 22, something like that. But this particular palette, like I, everybody needs a nude palette, like yeah. a neutral palette, should I say, a neutral palette. And but this one has so many shades, it can work for our darker babies, our lighter babies, like. It can work for literally any skin tone that you have. So, those of you who are looking for one, I would definitely recommend this. Definitely. And I, I called myself trying to get the third one, but y'all seen what I got here. <laughs> That's it, DJ. Going over to Marshall. I'm telling you, I haven't been in a while. I actually have not been doing a whole lot of shopping during the pandemic. I've been disciplining myself. Um. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. Um, but. but yeah, this is this is it. This is our look. Close your this eyes. Look. See. look at me. I'm trying to I'm trying to peek, trying to see if I can see yours. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Thank you. I like hers too. Yeah. See, her lips are glossy. Yeah. I don't even I don't even own gloss. Is that yeah. bad? I don't even own gloss. Why don't you have any? I'm a, I'm a mad girl. So I don't even own it. Like, I, you know what? I'm not gonna lie because I literally just bought some. So me okay. too. So how y'all think we did? Yeah. What do one you guys think? Rate us. Rate us one through ten. <laughs> if it's under five, you don't have to put it. Yeah, yeah. If, if, it's, if it's under five, you don't have to put In it. In box. Comment to yourself. If, if it's under five. Yeah. <laughs> Write us personally. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed yeah. us. Um, I hope you like this look. Uh, stay tuned for next week. We will have another guest on same day, yeah. maybe the same time, maybe maybe not. Um, All right. Whenever we get to you, we gonna be here though. So y'all stay tuned. Okay. Be sure to like, share. And we will see you next time. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>